all of us have the choice to engineer and design what we want our businesses to look like. And if you look at the Venn diagram of quantity and then quality, you could just go all in on quantity and do everything yourself and scale and achieve some results. Not very sustainable, but you could. But if we reach this constraint of what would it look like if I were to, to match quality with quantity, meaning that I'm able to actually enjoy it, I don't have to wear, do everything myself, wear all the hats, burn myself out, work 80 hours so that I've got the quality of life, but also the quantity of growth that I desire. What would that look like? Which is kind of a constraint question. And the answer to that is what you're talking about, where if you guys were to continue doing everything yourselves, very centralized, then yes, you could grow, but that would be quantity without necessarily having the quality that you also want, which is going to be more sustainable in the long run. So you actually enjoy what you're building. You don't resent what you're building. And so this is a timeless principle, regardless of what the tools look like and how you build this out. This is what needs to be true for that to be true. And this shape here, this would be you two. And then this would be that structure where you guys aren't having to handle 80, 90% of the daily decisions and activities, because here you would have a combination of these here are the read the book. And then the central piece here is the write the book. Mm -hmm. So the people who have the common sense, the people who have the value alignment, the people who can, for the most part, handle the day to day, one or two solid people in place on the op side that can just handle and make sure that they're providing the support needed for the people who need to read the book, right? So that's, you become decentralized in that way.